over again? Huh? You want to start over? Get your ass out of the air. Let's see what you're made of. Get your ass to this obstacle course. Pick up the pace. Get over to that next obstacle. Double time. Open over the obstacle. Jump up to reach the top and pull yourself over. Looks like you need some help, so why don't you ask your fellow knucklehead over there to help you over this wall. Balance yourself on those beams and get to the other side. If you fall, you gotta start again. It's really not that hard. Get yourself on those beams and get over to the other side. This next evolution will get you used to what it's like to be under fire. You will be stressed and this is a live Enemy fire contact! exercise. Keep your head down and keep moving. How are you going to react 
when you're in this situation for real. Keep moving. I am absolutely astonished you're not dead. Get yourself geared up and get to the next station. Your next period of instruction will be about field dressings. The standard issue field dressing is critical for stopping all kinds of bleeding and trauma. Not only can you use it on yourself, but to also stabilize other wounds in the field, as you will see in the next station. dressing on a seemingly incapacitated man on the ground. Thanks. Welcome to my main base. There's a number of things you can do here, from weapons familiarization to learning about how you can communicate with your squad. Go around and take a look, and when you're done, head to the motor pool at the end of the base. This is an example of some of the ways you can be deployed in the field. The rally point is only for you and your squad, while the big bunker-looking structure is a HAB. HABs are meant for your entire team and are found only on board operating bases or FOBs. In both circumstances, you will need to rearm your weapons from any nearby sources before moving out. Listen up. Communication is critical to surviving in a battlefield. Local comms allow you to talk with friendlies within a radius around you. They are useful for on-the-fly comms, inter-vehicle comms, and generally just getting the attention of the man next to you. Also, you're issued a squad radio, which you can use to talk with your entire squad no matter where they are on the field. Automatic rifleman and machine gun. Designated marksmen are issued with a high caliber rifle designed to reach out and touch the enemy from further ranges than a standard issue rifle. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Take your time when it comes to these crucial shots.
ammo on your primary, your sidearm is your next best friend in emergency situations. Pistols are not designed to be effective at longer ranges, so don't try and hit a fly at 100 meters. This is your standard issue rifle. It may come in different forms and attachment configurations, but it does what any good infantry weapon does best. Suppress and kill the enemy. All riflemen and support roles carry this as their primary weapon. The best way for you to shoot is in single shots. Take a moment between each shot and make sure you're still on target. Hand grenades are incredibly dangerous and should be treated with respect. However, they are a great means of clearing out a room at a group of enemies. All rolls are issued with these, either in the fragmentation or smoke variety for concealment. Grenadiers in your squad carry a grenade launcher slung under their primary weapon. These fire 40mm grenades and are highly effective against infantry in the open and light vehicles. Just remember the grenades need a few meters of arm, so you can't fire these at point blank range. Anti-tank rolls are issued with rocket launchers that, depending on their yield, can damage and destroy enemy vehicles. The rockets need a bit of distance to arm, so avoid firing these at close range. The launcher also fires a deadly backblast, so make sure your rear is clear before firing. you need to pick up your Rolf kit. Typically, you will automatically deploy into the battle with your loadout already equipped, but you can also change it while in the field from ammo crates such as these, or from vehicles if they have enough ammo on board. Hey, soldier! Stop playing grab-ass over there! Your squad needs a new habit, they're fob, and they don't have enough supplies. Load up the freaking truck with construction ammo supplies, now.
get that truck started and drive it up the road to the fob. Let's go. All right. Good work there, warrior. Hopefully, this will hold up better than that last one. We set up a mock scenario where you will need to execute the technique of fire and maneuver to advance on the enemy. Suppress the enemy machine gun positions and use the wall in their fire to advance.
closer to the target building, you'll see another squad dressed up as the enemy. They will open fire if they see you. So make sure you take them down before they smoke your ass. Alright, get through that freaking door. If you got a grenade, it would behoove you to use it now. Get your pants on in the morning. Holy crap, how do you manage to get your pants on in the morning?
pants on in the morning. the building all the way to the roof. Make sure you get every last one of them. Good work clearing that building, soldier. One of your jobs on the battlefield as an infantryman is to take and hold ground. As you have just cleared the capture zone of all enemy forces, you can now capture the structure for your team. Now let's get to the good stuff. Our last exercise here is to destroy the enemy's FOB radio, located behind the target building. <laughs> Go up to it and destroy it with the provided engineer C4 charge. taking down the enemy FOB, one of their primary means of reinforcement. There are alternative means of taking down enemy FOB such as a shovel, but explosives tend to be the most effective. Thinking about boots like you in charge of C4 is what keeps me up at night, but you somehow managed not to blow yourself up. Well, that's good, I guess. This concludes your infantry pre-deployment training. There are still many aspects of the battlefield that only experience can teach you, so learn from your buddies and trust your squad leaders. If you need more practice on a particular weapon system or vehicle, the Jensen's range facility is available at any time. Good luck out there, soldier.